fishing career is very small. My fly fishing instances are few and far between, I'll say that. So I started off fly fishing actually just outside of Whistler. Old rod, probably like 50 years old. These, so I'm hoping these will give me access to where Saw the movie was filmed. The roof is about the size of the Shire. So, concussion. Got the goods. Let's get out of this place. This rod's probably like. 50, 40 years old. Actually, Lorna's father's rod gave me this to use when I was living with them in Whistler. New rod. This is the salmon rod. Eight weight, hardly any flex. This is my little fly box in Alberta. They're all supposed to look like insects. They float up on the surface. This one's supposed to be a grasshopper. This one's just a little caddis fly and this is what the guy sold me today at the fly store i don't know if this is some sort of drug or no idea what i'm doing with it hopefully i can catch some fish with this new setup see if it hasn't been brutally obvious you have no idea what I'm talking about with fly fishing. I love being out on the water. I love just doing an activity outside that I'm not sweating necessarily. It's more just me thinking. It's a huge fish jump. Like fish I wouldn't even know what to do with. It's practically lake fishing here. Look at that. Get snagged up on a huge rock, which is way out in the middle of this. And I really don't want to lose that fly. Really don't want to lose that sinker tip that I just put on there. So, I'm gonna go out and retrieve it. I broke the line. I did get the sink, sink tip. Sacrifice my lucky pink fly. All right, so it has become brutally obvious that I'm not half the angler I thought I was. I've been out here in Squamish for a few hours. Fish are everywhere. I've tried like six different flies. Nothing, nothing. I'm turning into quite the fly, the uh, fish whisperer here. Check this out. Not one of them wants to bite my fly. 